Right, so this is the oil pickup pipe and the little bit of gauze. That was the cap that went over that way. And this is why I've butchered it up, trying to open it. Because it all needs clearing out. Um, I was going to get a new one. I looked online and uh, what is it with Volkswagen owners? Seriously, just because it's Volkswagen, you put VAT on top of it as well. Your own Volkswagen tax. Like, it, it takes a mick. Like, people want, like, 30, 40 quid for something like this. Are you having a laugh? I mean, I'll tell you an example for it. I found a oil pickup pump. I was looking for a new one. 80 quid for a new one. And someone wants one used. 150 quid. But I can buy a brand new one. 80 quid. Seriously, you guys... Oh, I know it's not you guys, but some people, just because it's Volkswagen, they just charge through the roof for it. It's just, just not on. Just not on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually clean all this up. Um, and then when I put it all back together, I'll make sure I'll clean all the edges up. Yeah. And we'll do a little bit of metal work. Because my first year of apprenticeship, I was... Um, I'd done a year of machining. And then uh, after I'd done my machinist course I then went on and done pipe fitting and welding and sheet metal work so this is right down my alley happy days right let's uh, get it all cleaned out right so I've gone ahead and I sorted that little cap out it's all now nice and uh, round I know it looks a little bit battered but it's all now nice and smooth the edges are all uh, nice and straight the little dent that was in the middle that's all gone um, yeah, all of that, that I'd all dented up and mashed up trying to get out has uh, come up really well. All I've done was I just used the copper end of this hammer, which is sort of like mushroomed over at the end. I just used that. My little uh, tapping hammer. Yeah, and I was able to just, you know, move it around over the edge and whatever. So we got that one nice and straight. Um, and then this one, not too bad. I'm not really too worried about that. We'll just tap it over. But before I do put, put it all back together, I am going to give it a quick wash, like through the middle, make sure there is no little bits of metal in there. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you me putting that back on.
may look a bit bodged, but it's actually all right. You know, considering everything that I took out, I think I'd rather having it looking like that and no lumps of metal in it than um, it's sucking up all that metal that was still in there that was caught in that gauze. Yeah, so that's good enough to go into my little box of clean items. Happy days. Next job I want to have a look at is uh, going to dismantle the oil pickup pump. Even though this is now clean, I have cleaned the rocker. Um, I want to bath this, give it a bath, make sure that there's no little bits of metal underneath here. Although there was no metal in the top end of the engine, I just want to just wash it all through, just make sure. And then the sump. I'm going to give this a bath and try and clean that up, make it look new. Right, I think. What I'm going to do is, um, before I start taking it all apart, because I'm quite curious to see how it all works as well, uh, it might take a little while going through this, so I'll save this for the next video. Now I think we'll call it a day for now. I'm not sure how long I've dragged this out for, because it's there's been a few clips, there's been bits here and there, and I know I missed out a bit of the cleaning, and yeah i'm trying to do a lot of things all at once here going on so uh so bear with me and i do apologize uh also thank you to all the new subscribers um thank you for all your comments recently it's it's great it, you know it's really good that i'm actually doing something that's helping other people out as well so you know that's good to hear nice uh, positive feedback from everyone yeah so um, I'll see you hopefully in a couple of days once we've got this uh, sorted out. All right, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, God bless.